DS red box size 9 oh a pair of bricks which failed the requirement for this box Welcome back everybody! So today I'll be unboxing a $1,500 mystery box. This is GUA, so which means I will pay the seller right after I check everything out. I was promised 20 to 30%. Let's see if we can get that. See like if he blessed me or if I got scammed. All right, so let's get the unboxing started. I had to change the angle just because of the lighting. But yeah, let's get it started right now. Um, I'm praying for the best, honestly. Hold up. All right, pray for the best. Let's see what we get. So the first pair, I do see a Jordan 1 box. Ugh. I'm pretty sure it's a used pair just because, because of the OG Jordan 1 size tag. Um, I don't know what's wrong with this. It looks like he kind of scribbled on the size and kind of changed the size on it. I'm not sure, honestly, but okay. It's a pair of Homage to Homes. Let me see what size this is. It's pretty clean. Size 13. Size 13, homage to homes. I'm gonna check and see how much this pair goes for. Yeah, it looks pretty clean. It doesn't got the box paper though, so that might be a little issue. But um, let's check. All right, so the lowest on GOAT goes for 170, but it has no box and it's kind of beat. Um, but this at the same time, this is not a quick mover. If you guys know what I like, if you guys follow me on IG, I don't usually sell stuff like this. Um, I probably pay I probably pay 170 for this pair and sell it for 200 or 220. I'll probably pay 170, especially looking at the box too. Like, this is kind of weird. Like, yeah, that's kind of trippy. But yeah, I'll pay 170 for this. So so far, I have my calculator out. I put 170. I'm just gonna show you guys how much I would pay for each pair. He also got a note here, so I'm gonna I'm not even gonna look at this. I'm gonna check the note right after. But this is how much. I would pay for every single shoe. What's up guys, this is Post Edit Jimmy right here. So these Jordan ones that I'm about to look at, these are actually used in the video I said was brand new, but um, I didn't really look at the sheet of paper. So you guys can see that right now. I'm gonna put it up on the screen. DS market's already low enough. So when it's used, I probably value this shoe at zero just because it's already a hard mover. Who's gonna buy some used Jordan 1 lows that are size four and a half and no one even seen them before. You know what I'm saying? Oh, a pair of bricks. Oh my god. All right. I hope this is not never seen these in my damn life. I never seen these lows in my life. I'm I'm gonna be, I'm gonna keep it a stack with you. I never seen these in my life. Let's see how much this goes for. It even has the hibbit receipt too, so hope this it's a size four and a half as well. So this go all right, this is gonna be very low. I'm not gonna offer good on this at all. I'm gonna just keep it a stack because especially it's a Jordan 1 low, um, the demand for Jordan 1, 1 lows are starting to fade and also just, I don't even know what these are. It's called Paint Splatter Jordan 1 Low GS. Oh, market? Oh, never mind. Yeah, there's barely any sales. The last sale was on <laughs> December 4th and then the one before that was October and then the one before that was during 2022, there's only 10 sales for this shoe. Yeah, this is gonna be slow bucks, I'm not gonna lie. I'd probably pay 60 for this. This is market right now, but I'll, I'll, I'm only paying 60 for this shoe. There's no way I'm paying anything higher than $60 for this shoe. It's not a good mover at all. It's probably gonna take me at least probably a year to sell that shoe if I'm being honest. So 60, 170 plus 60. We're at 230 right now. Okay, I also see a pair of no box. I hope this is a good, this is gonna bring up the value for the box. Yeah, this pair is kind of cooked though. It's a pair of Tope 4s. I kind of already know what I pay for these, uh, what I would pay for these, honestly. No box. Let's see what size this is. Hopefully it's a big size, si size 12. Okay, size 12. Um, yeah, there's some star loss. No box. Woo! All right. I would probably pay around, let me just check market to make sure and be sure about this. Actually, let me change it up and um, cause I just realized what I'm doing is not gonna be accurate. I'm gonna change it to how much I would sell the shoes for. So for um, the homage to homes, I would pay two, I would sell it for 210. And then for those Jordan 1 lows, I would sell it for 70. These Tope 4s, I'm gonna check the market on right now. I hope it's not too bad. Lowest on go is $300, but that pair is very clean and it has the box, OG all. So for this pair, I would pay $200. I would probably pay $200 and then sell it for, I'll be lying if I, if I was gonna pay 200. Because of the condition, 
I'd probably pay 180, 180 or 200 for these. I'd probably pay 185. Let's just call it 185 and I'll sell it for 230. Total value is 510. Okay, okay, we're getting up there. 510 so far for the value. Dude, there's only a few shoes left. I'm actually getting mad scared. All right. I mean, this is GUA anyway, so I can just talk to him and see what's up. But okay, it seems like it's a pair of Beluga 2.0s, I think. Yeah, it is. A pair of Beluga 2.0s. Looks like it's pretty clean. Okay, it's a very clean pair of Beluga 2.0 size. 11 and a half OG off. Let's see if this pair is good. Yeah, Beluga 2.0. I'm not gonna let you check anything. I'm gonna do all that later, but yeah, Beluga 2.0 size 11 and a half. Very clean OG off. Let's check market too, cause I don't wanna just say random numbers in my head and I'd be totally off. Like, but I have a sense. I'm probably gonna sell this pair around 230. Lowest on go right now is 210 actually for a very clean pair. And it's OG all. Ooh, so I'll probably sell this for 220. Yeah, I lower the value. So 510 minus two, plus 220. The value, we're at 730 right now. 730. Let's see if we can reach our final value. Let's just see. Man, I, I'm hoping like. There's like a few shoes left. I'm, yeah, I'm getting nervous. I'm not gonna lie. It looks like it's another OG Jordan 1 box. Another OG Jordan 1 box. Ooh, I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, another OG Jordan 1 box. Let's see what these are. Wow, all right. It's a pair of Pine Green 2.0s. I haven't bought a pair of these in a long, long, long time. Yeah, some Star Laws, but overall, decent condition. It's a size 11. Seems like, yeah, OG All has the laces too. That's a good sign. Let's see how much we can get for this pair. It should be pretty decent value, I'm not gonna lie. But at the same time, like, as far as what the market is right now, it's really hard to move used Jordan 1s. That's just how it is right now. So I'm not sure if we can get too high for them. Let's just see. Pine Green 2.0s, size 11. Size 11, let's just see. So lowest on GOAT is 220 without the box, but that pair is pretty clean with no box though. Yeah, 230, 260. I'll probably value this pair at 280, yeah. That's the same exact, yeah. There's a pair for 290, but it's in really pristine condition, as you guys can see. A really good condition for 290. So yeah, I'll probably price these at 280. So 730 plus 280, we're at um, 1,010 right now. Let's keep going. We got like three shoes left, so it better either be bangers or like it's over. <laughs> like I'm not, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna keep it a stack with y'all. Let's just see. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, some of these are gonna be a little bit a tough mover. So damage box for this pair already. Okay, it's a pair of Michigan Dunks. You guys can definitely notice that. Definitely star loss, but yeah, pretty good condition. But there's definitely a lot of creasing on the toe box too. I don't know if you guys see, see that with the lighting, but yeah, definitely a lot of creasing. Looks like I got this pair from GOAT. Let's just check and see how much I would value this and how much I would sell this for. Keep in mind, this slight damage box, so. Size 9.5, interesting, all right, 9.5. Hopefully this don't go for a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. And all these are like older releases. It's not, nothing is recent. Like none of these are recent releases. So 9.5, brand new goes for 340. Lowest on go right now is 280 for a very similar condition, but I don't know if I'm gonna get 280 for a pair of used dunks in today's market. Definitely not, honestly. I don't, I'm probably not gonna get 280 at all. I'm probably gonna get like 230. I'll probably pay 180. So I'll just add 230, that's why I value it. So we're at 1240 right now, 1240. We got two shoes left, man, so, um, if the next two shoes is not like bangers, we're either gonna be breaking even or just like making 10, 20 dollars. Like, I'm, a, I'm keeping it a stack, like. So let's just check. Next pair, it looks like it's another pair of Yeezy 350s. One last mistake, these are actually used. They are not brand new. And also in the video I said it's rep box, it's actually OG all. These are actually the right box for it, it's just that the shoe is used. So I would probably value this shoe at 150-ish, probably. So yeah, just ignore everything that I'm saying. I'll probably value it at 150. It's a pair of Israels. So um, yeah, it's a pair of bricks, but, and I think it's used. So far, everything is used except for that one Jordan 1 low. So, yeah, these are not the best movers. I bought a pair a few days ago, literally for 130. This pair is super. Oh, wait, this might be DS. Hold up, hold up. Actually, no, 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 no. Because there's like some dark, dark marks and scuffs on the side, but 
It could just, I don't even know. Let's just call it DS, all right? Cause it has, but it doesn't even have the tags. Dude, I'm getting tired, I'm not gonna lie. Today's been a super long day. And you guys, if you guys watched the last video, you know what happened with this. So I don't gotta explain too much, but size nine is Rio's. This is like a 2020, 2019 release, 2020 or 2019 release. So it's a little minute ago. Is this a red box? No fuck, no way, right? It's just stop. Then hold on, let me check if this is a red box. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, don't judge me in the comment section below because I haven't bought any of these shoes in such a long time. So yes, I can confirm that is a red box. So that means the value of it decreases by a lot. Yeah, so it's, I think it's DS red box, size nine. I have no idea what to value at, at it just because I don't usually buy stuff like this I'm not really familiar with it um, Just because DS red box is just hard movers um, If you're a sneaker reseller, you would know what I'm talking about But size 9 brand new wood box goes for 270 no box. I probably value at 180 180 or two I would just be nice and call it 200. So it puts us at 1440 for our value so far. We paid 1500 for this box, so it looks like we will be in profit, but let's just see how much though, because we are spending $1,500. It's another Jordan 1. I think this is a University Blue. Ooh, okay, a pair of Uni Blues. All right, that's not too bad. Let's check out the conditions. It looks like the suede for the blue is fading away. Um, that's usually what happens when you know you clean these with water or if it gets in, if you wear these in the rain Not the best best condition just because of the suede. It looks yeah, it looks worn out a little bit But let's just see how much I would, I would value this for though So I say that is the last year for the box I can show you guys that and also this box is from my guy business card right here go check them out but i'm um, probably gonna have to talk about a little bit of the prices for all these some of these shoes i'm not gonna lie but this is just my take on it jordan one uni yeah because some of these are hard movers so like some of these are for real hard movers um what size is that size eight all right size eight that's my size it, it is ogr i could confirm that so no box goes for 200 with box 220 i probably value this at 230 yeah that's why i probably value this pair at 230 so it puts us in 1670 for the box value so we paid 1500 dollars for this box so 170 dollars in profit this will be the final time you guys will see post edit jimmy so after doing my math out this is going to be the total number that um whatever the value of the box is gonna cost i'm gonna put this number right here it is not a valuable box i returned the shoe to the seller and i also did not even include his name just because he did not want me to post this video at all but you guys know i got show i'm gonna come with the content i blurred out his name though so um if you guys dm me ask me who this is i can't tell you guys just for the respect out of it um but yeah, this was not a really successful mystery box. So if you guys have another one that you guys want to sell me or want me a review on YouTube, make sure you guys send it to me or just DM me on Instagram. Let's work something out and um, see you guys later. This is Post Edit Jimmy once again, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I mean, let me know what you guys would value this at. Like, comment down in the section below so I know. But I don't know. I don't think... $1,500 is worth to make $170, but I'm just keeping a stack. You know how it how be. So it's 11% in value. Um, no, it's 11% ROI return, which failed the requirement for this box. Yeah, I would be talking to him about some of the prices. Um, make sure you still check my guy out. Um, he was nice enough to send me this box in GUA. We've been doing business for a little minute now, so he's a really good guy. Make sure you guys go check him out, regardless of what, what the value for this box is. Um, I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. It meant a lot, but we're gonna have to talk about some prices, man. We're gonna have to talk, so, talk about some prices. It's I'm not even tripping, though. It's like, look. DS rep box. Wait for this is worn out and it's you know not the best and also one of the Jordan ones the homage to homes for the side for like the size sticker is like crossed out for some reason I don't know why um, these are not in the best conditions you know it's 
it's rough. It's hard. And then also some Jordan 1 lows that it's probably going to take me a very, very long time to sell. Um, but aside from that, that's this box. $1,670 in value. It is only a 11% return. I mean, if you guys, you know, if any of you guys are watching this, think you can put up a better box, DM me on Instagram, you know, ship me one and I'll review it for you guys. But um, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys gain a little bit out of some, like from this video or whatever. But um, yeah, catch you guys soon. Peace. So I just want to give you guys an update on this mystery box. So yes, I am returning all these pairs to the original seller. I texted him afterwards, but we just couldn't find an agreement on the price. It is what it is. I appreciate it regardless. It's not a bad box though. It just didn't reach the ROI requirement. Um, but yeah, if you guys think you can do a better box than that one, I'll film another video on it. But until then, I'll catch you guys soon.